Lot Esmond here for winners and whiners trying to make you a better, better. And my apologies for the past couple of weeks. As hot as I was to start the season, well north of 75, close to 80%. Wow. Uh, the last couple of weeks have been terrible. Now, look, a lot of dogs have been covering. I mean, who saw Denver beating Kansas City? Apparently, Patrick Mahomes had IVs on Saturday and Sunday because he had, well, Let's just say he was spending a lot of time in the bathroom uh, because he was severely dehydrated from being sick. Several other players on the team also apparently had it. So Denver beats Kansas City. A lot of other strange outcomes. But I'll tell you one that wasn't strange to me. Will Levis. (laughs) Man, was that kid hot in his debut for the Titans as the starting quarterback. He was my favorite. Favorite quarterback coming out in the draft. People said I was nuts, and I will stick by it. Will Levis will have a better overall career than anybody that was picked ahead of him or behind him in last year's draft. He will be better than all of them. He was great. Um, Throws for 238 yards, four touchdowns. As the Tennessee Titans defeat the Atlanta Falcons 28-23. to uh, If you remember, he was taken with the 33rd pick of the NFL draft by the Titans, who already had Malik Willis that they'd taken the year before, and Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill's hurt. Willis doesn't have it. Levis goes in, 19 of 29. And he throws three touchdown passes to DeAndre Hopkins. Meanwhile, the Steelers were barfing all over themselves on offense. Ugh. After they won the week before, I was like, oh, the Steelers have finally found something on offense. And I backed him in that game with the Jaguars to cover, and they barfed all over themselves. They scored 10 points. They're, they looked awful. And you know what's even worse? They have the 30th ranked defense in the NFL, the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> The Blitzburg Steelers, the Steel Curtain. Uh, no, it's it's like satin sheets for opposing teams now. Uh, the Steelers are terrible on defense. Now, the Titans score 19 points per game. But last week with Levis, they scored 28. And let me tell you why. Derrick Henry finally has a quarterback that will open up the running game for him like it's never been opened up before. And DeAndre Hopkins has a quarterback that can hit him with the deep ball like he hasn't had since years ago. Because Levis has a big arm, he's accurate, he's good with the ball fakes, so it used to be teams could stack the box against Derrick Henry because they're like, ah, if Ryan Tannehill beats us passing the ball, God bless him, that's not going to happen. Well, guess what? Levis can burn you with the deep ball. So now teams are really in a bind when it comes to the Tennessee Titans offense. And you take the Pittsburgh offense that already is bad, and now they're going to have to deal with this. And oh, by the way, Kenny Pickett, he's got bruised ribs or sternum or something. Uh, Trubisky had to come in and finish the game for him. Let me just see what the latest on this line is Pittsburgh line versus Titans because it's moved <clears throat> uh, Pittsburgh 145 on the money line Tennessee plus 120 uh, and I believe that line has already moved from opening at four to two and a half so yeah you're catching two and a half with Tennessee on the road uh, I would take If I had $100 to bet on this game, I'm taking 35 and I'm putting it on Tennessee to win plus 120. I'm taking 65 and I'm going to plus that two and a half up to three just to cover my you know what. Uh, Total take in that game. uh, If they don't win 65, 50, you'll end up with about 110 back. So you make a $10 profit. But if, if they win the game and you get your other bet, you're going to make a nice little 
Nice little snack out of that game. That would be my strategy on how I would play this one. I am Loud Esmond for Winners and Winers, trying to make you a better better.